Virginia. Did you know the law protects patients from surprise medical bills? Insurance companies and hospitals post cost information online. You can request a good faith estimate three days ahead of hospital care. Know your rights as a health care consumer. Visit ControlYourCare.com to learn more about patient-focused health care laws. ControlYourCare.com can help empower your health care decisions. Paid for by the Virginia Hospital and Health Care Association. Shopify helps you sell at every stage of your business. Like that, let's put it online and see what happens stage. And the site is live. That we opened a store and need a fast checkout stage. Thanks. You're all set. That count it up and ship it around the globe stage. This one's going to Thailand. And that, wait, did we just hit a million orders stage? Whatever your stage, businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for your $1 a month trial at shopify.com slash listen. Of Pat and Algy are delayed at the Latonga airstrip. And by the time they take off in the Oster, the storm is approaching past. It soon catches the little plane in its full force. Algy has to fight every inch of the way to prevent disaster. But he cannot prevent the storm blowing him miles to the west of his course. And he can do nothing when the fuel runs low. They are in wild mountain country when the tanks run dry. A huge dusky outline towers over them as Algy allows the plane to sink to the ground. Lifts the nose to pancake, the little machine and the trees float up towards them and then... you can fix for me afterwards. But we were both darn lucky. Oh, no, Algy. You knew the crash was coming and you prepared for it. No one could have brought the kite down better than you did. Oh, thanks. And that doesn't help us much, does it? My word, it does. If we're alive, we wouldn't have been if we'd crashed nose down. All right, I'm a whiz of a flyer. But that doesn't alter the fact that we're stuck amongst the trees on the side of a whopping great mountain in the middle of a storm. I can't fly us out of this spot. There's nothing we can do, Algy. Not while the storm's still going. When it dies down, I suggest we try to make radio contact with Campola. Yes, we'll do that. But in the meantime, this cabin's as good a place as any to stay. At least we won't get quite so wet here as we would outside. flying. All I can pick up are the splutters of the storm. We're still too close to it. I'll try again. I might get through eventually. No, oh, you'll waste the battery. That radio's our only link with Biggles, Pat. Let's keep it serviceable. It might be morning before we can use it again, Algy. It's growing terribly dark. Then we'll wait till morning. Biggles wouldn't be able to do anything tonight anyway. In the morning we can see where we are and set about getting ourselves dressed. Oh, it's useless, old Bean. The only sound's that valley static. Never mind, Bertie. We wouldn't be able to do anything tonight anyway. Not do anything, but by George we will. We're going out to look for them. Where? Well, between here and the Tonga. Ginge, in a severe tropical storm, that little oster would be tossed about like a leaf. According to reports, the storm was severe, so we can take it for granted that they've been blown miles off their course. Oh, even so, old sausage, we can't very well leave them there. I mean to say almost anything could have happened to the poor old trout. No matter what's happened, we can do nothing about it tonight. There's no moon, so visibility would be nil. If we went out, we'd simply burn up petrol and our nerves without seeing a thing. Then what are we going to do? Sleep. So that we'll be fit for anything that cracks tomorrow. We'll take shifts to stay in the radio room in case a message does come through. But apart from that, we'll relax until we can really do something to help Pat and Algy. Darling, 
down here, Algy. The view's heavenly in daylight. I couldn't care less about the view. I want to get back to civilization. Is the radio working? Yes. I'm trying to get through now. Hold it back. Are you through? It's Biggles. It's only faint, but I can hear his voice. Well, don't worry about me. Give him the message quickly, Algy, while the battery still works. Yes, Algy, I have that. We'll come out to look for you immediately. Neither of you move from your position until you hear our kites. Then light a smudge fire to show us where you are and wait for further instructions. Now, when I switch back to you, tell me if you've understood all that and pass on any other details you may have about your position. Reception's growing very bad. Over. Algy, are you still receiving me? If you are, acknowledge at once. Over. Now, that's all. His battery must have given out. But he gave you their position, didn't he, old trout? You seem to jot down an awful lot on that pad. I don't know his actual position. He doesn't himself. But he told me the, 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 the time he left Camp Parlour, the direction of the wind, and his altitude when he crashed. We should be able to make something out of all that. Do you think so? Well, it doesn't mean much to me, Biggles. The altitude's the most important detail. They crashed amongst mountains well to the west of Latonga. As Algy was trying to fly south at the time, it's undoubtedly, well, well to the southwest. I'd say they're somewhere in the Ruanzori range. At what altitude? The altimeter's stuck at a little under 7,000 feet. So if we follow the 7,000 feet contour, sooner or later we should come to them. Well, then, let's barely well follow it, old bean. We Lissies are in our following mood. You know, Pat, we're lucky in a way. We could have landed in much worse spots than this. There's a darn good view from here. <laughs> so spoke he who wasn't interested in views. Oh, not because it's pretty to look at. But we can survey the country for miles round. That may be useful to us. Algy, you have no soul. I have a stomach, and it requires more to feed it than that bar of chocolate we found. Now, let's see where we are. Well, we're obviously on a plateau of some sort, and on the edge of forest country. A rainforest. That's the bit I don't like to look at. It spreads down the mountainside until it reaches that bright green strip at the bottom. I wonder what this is, Pat? The green strip? I've no idea. It stretches for miles, doesn't it? It doesn't seem to have any place down there. There's the forest this side of it, and the other side the grassland of the felt. I can't make out the green strip at all. Oh, look, Algy. There's one of the lakes way to the north. Doesn't it look lovely with the sun glinting on it? Oh, it'd look a darn sight lovelier if I knew which lake it was. I don't find that being lost on the side of a mountain gives me an eye for beauty. <laughs> you don't possess one anyway. All you care about are the facts and figures of the situation. What else is there to care about? Pat, there's a kite coming. Isn't that the mosquito? Might be. Got the matches ready? My word. I'll throw some oil on that pile of wood, and you can set a light to it. This must be Biggles coming to look for us. Trout, there's smoke coming up from that ridge. That's it, Bertie. Is the parcel ready? Yes, we're catching it in our hot little hand, ready to toss out whenever we're over them. I'll scribble a note, and you can put it with the other thing. Hand me the pad, will you? Here, old bean. Here, we're right, Biggles. I can see them now. There's old algae waving like Billio. And Pat, dear old Pat, she's there too. Is there any message in it? Just a second. Yes, here it is. A note from Biggles. Hey. Start walking down the mountain to the east. Keep heading in that direction and make for the open country of the plain. If you can't get through the forest by nightfall, light a fire to show us how far you've gone. If there's no fire, we'll take it you've met with an accident. Otherwise, we'll wait on the felt for you. Good luck, Biggles. Give him a wave, Pat. We're right. 
Well, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Now, the rainforests. Wait, Algy. I'll have to rest. This going's too hard for me. Oh, it's too hard for both of us, Pat. It's like pushing your way through a brick wall. And so hot. I don't know if I'll ever make the bottom. That's why they call it the rainforest. It's so damp and steamy. But we'll hit the plain eventually. Can we have a breather now, though? I honestly couldn't go on without a rest. Yes, but let's find somewhere more comfortable. The vegetation's so dense here, we can't even sit down. There's a little brook or water hole through there. Think you can make it? I think so. We can have some lunch there. That'll make us both feel better. A good scheme. I'll push through ahead of you. It'll make the going easier. Hold it, Pat. Why, can't we get through? Yes, but there's something already there. What do you mean? Look. A gorilla! I've never seen one outside a cage before. It doesn't look nearly so safe. He's seen us! And he's charging! Pat and Algy frantically look for a way of escape as a huge ape crashes towards them through the undergrowth. Can they avoid the charge? Will they be able to push through this terrible forest to meet Biggles? There'll be excitement and action in the next episode of The Air Adventures of Biggles. <laughs> Spin your passion into a business of Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. Wings are here. Oh, from No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeye's now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand-battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're five ninety nine for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary.